How's it going everybody? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing this video lesson and today I've got uh, two more uh, pentatonic sequence licks like kind of the stuff we've been working on in the past. Uh, we got one for descending and one for ascending. So right now Guitar Control is giving away this really awesome uh, daily practice routine to improve your lead guitar chops. This was put together by our very own Silvio Gazquez, a uh, two-time uh, guitar idol finalist. This routine covers the four main concepts that are uh, necessary for lead guitar. Alternate picking, legato, sweet picking, and tapping. All the tabs and exercises are all included in this free ebook. Uh, there's a link in the description where you can get yours. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look at these. Alright, so the first one here we're going to start with the ascending uh, one and this doesn't... this this is just all right uh, out of, right out of the minor pentatonic scale um, and so this is movable you can do it in you know different places to play in different keys and this is just I'm not going through the entire scale it's just a small section of it so you can take the idea of it and you can move it around within the scale so here we're doing it in E and we're going to start here on the on the 14th fret of the D string with my third finger and then my first finger is on the 12th fret because we're going to pick 14 pull to 12 and then hammer back onto 14 so, and this is all a triplet feel. So it's like one, yellow, and then we're gonna go on the downbeat of two, we're gonna go to the 12th fret on the G string with your first finger, back to 14 on the D string, and then back to 12 again on the G string. So, so we've, we've already done one that was very similar to this with this, this same idea. This is just another way of like hooking it together. So uh, that's like our first half. Uh, the first two beats of the first measure. Now what we're going to do is for starting on beat three we're going to shift up and we're going to start on the B string. So now I'm going to pick 15 on the B string and pull to 12 because remember we're out of the, we're out of the minor pentatonic uh, shape, pattern one shape. So uh, we're going to pick 15, pull to 12 to 14 on the G string. So that'll be beat three, three yellow, and then on the B string, 12 to 14 on the G, back to 12. So that's our first uh, measure. Now starting on the second measure, we're gonna start, we're gonna restart the sequence again, but now we're moving up a string. So we're gonna start on the G string, and I'm gonna do 14, pull to 12, back to 14 as a triplet then to 12 on the uh, B string, back to 14 on the G string, and then back to 12 again on the B string. So that's beat two. Then for beat three, we're gonna come up to the high E string. And we're gonna pick 15, pull to 12, and follow that with 15 on the B string. So that's beat three. And then uh, for beat four, we're gonna go back to 12 on the high E string, and then back to 15 pull to 12 on the B string. So that's like beat four. And then we're going to end it by just, we're going to bar the 12th fret of the B and the high A string. So you got So let's look at the descending version. So the descending version, we're going to start at the top of the scale. So we're going to start off, we're going to pick 15, pull to 12, and then follow that with 15 on the B string. So again, this is all triplets. One yellow. Then we're going to go back to 12 on the high E, and then 15, pull to 12 on the B string. So that's beat two. So we've got... Then we're going to go to the G string, fifth, or 14, pull to 12, back to 14, back to 12 on the B string, to 14 on the G string, back to 12 on the B string. So. Then on the second measure of that, we're going to start, we're going to, now we're going to be moving it down. So just like on the first one where we shifted up a string, now we're going to shift down. So we're going to start on the B string. 15, pull to 12, and then we're going to go to that 14 on the uh, on the G string, 
back to 12 again on the uh, high E string, back to 12, 14, pull to 12 on the G string. So like beat one, beat two. So that's the first two beats of that second measure there. Then we're gonna go to the D string, 15, or excuse me, 14, pull to 12, hammer to 14. And then back to 12 on the G string, to 14 on the D string, back to 12. So, and then finally ending just on the 14th fret of the D string. All right, so like I was saying, you can move these around. Uh, you could, uh, you could st uh, you could take the first one and instead of so starting it on the on the D string, the ascending one rather, and you could start it on the low E if you wanted to. Just however you want to do it is just so it follows that same sequence. All of the notes that we're playing are all in that uh, E minor pentatonic scale. You can also move this around into you know wherever you want since it's out of that scale. Anywhere that you can play the scale, you can play that same sequence. Now, the further you go down the neck this way, since the frets are further apart and your arms in more of an you know an awkward position, it's a lot harder. It's a lot easier to play this lick, you know, these licks at a higher. So uh, those are pretty cool. They're just some just some ideas. Hopefully, this gives you some more ideas of things you can do in your own um, improvisation. So feel free to take any of this stuff and just dissect it, make it your own. All right, so there you have it, another installment in a little series on uh, pentatonic uh, licks and sequences. Uh, if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar-related topics. Uh, if you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.